What's up guys? Well today I'm going to take you on a little tour of Gravesend. This is an apartment I used to live at right over here. 111. This is where I lived with my parents when I was a kid. I was born on Grand Dam. I from Grand Dam. My mother moved back to this area of Gravesend. My whole family was on this side of the neighborhood. Okay. I want to tell you a little story. Of course you read this clothing back in the day. We had some guy, Phil, okay? Phil, what he used to do is he used to sniff glue in a paper bag. And he'd be up here on the second window. He'd be sniffing glue back and forth. And then we had another guy, Mike Marino, that lived off the corner over here, okay? Every 4th of July, Mike Marino would put a nice firework show over here. Right now, where we are is on, uh, between West 10th and West 9th Street. And Avenue West. And Tommy Karate's club is just as large as on the next block. We're gonna walk you over there. But Mike Marino, he also loved Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley was his idol. And he used to look just like Elvis Presley. He used to put his hair like Elvis Presley. And he used to sing Elvis Presley songs. But these are the things that took place. Not only really was it like a big over here. And this is Gravesend. A lot of gangsters are from this neighborhood. We got Frankie Lino, Eddie Lino, the Lino's are big over here. So on this corner, back to the end, this used to be a guy by the name of Dash. We used to call him Dash. This was his social club over here, Dash. used to hang out over here. I'm going back a long, long time. Now we're gonna do something to bring it to Tommy's place. This right here, take a spot, take a picture. This right here used to be Tommy's Just Us Lounge. Okay? And back in the day, we used to come here, meet Paul G, and me, Frankie Ganji, Paul Jack, Tommy Karate. I remember one time Tommy actually had a Christmas party here. Okay, in the Christmas party, Paul Jack was here, Frank Ganji, Tommy was here, Lou Bobby Lino. Frankie Lino was in there. I walked in with Paul G. I think Fabrizio was with us. And he came in just to say hello, wish everybody a Merry Christmas. At the time, the girl Linda used to uh, bartend. And she was real good friends with Big Ange. Big Ange used to come in here every so often. She would bartend too. But this was Tommy Karate's place. And a lot of things happened over here back in the day. Tommy Karate killed a lot of people in this social club. But get a picture of the avenue, how beautiful it is over here. Back in the day, this used to be a beautiful neighborhood. This used to be all Italian back in the day. All Italian neighborhood back in the day, this used to be. And this was Tommy Karate's social club over here. This is just a stand over here. And uh, he used to have a lot of guys come in here, report to him. Tommy killed a lot of guys over here. And this neighborhood was beautiful. I mean, it's a beautiful day today. Check it out. A couple blocks down the Abruzzi. This is West State. This is West Ninth. Get the sign over here. West Ninth. And Avenue West. But Tommy killed a lot of people in Just Us Lounge. He used to come here. This was his spot. We used to meet a lot of white guys over here. And uh, this was his neighborhood. This is where he came up. He came up over here. A lot of people respected him. And, you know, he used to chop people up. This was his thing. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. I'll be putting up a video again tomorrow. I love you guys. And thanks for coming by. Bye, guys.